Xbox Game Pass is a monthly subscription service that gives you access to multiple games from every genre and is available for both Xbox One and Windows PC. Game Pass offers hundreds of games for a very fair price. The only downside is with so many games to play, how do you know where to start? Well, you're in luck. Today, we're doing the work for you, enlisting our top 10 Game Pass game picks available on the PC in the beginning of 2020. Keep in mind, several games are changed out each month, so all these games may not be available on Game Pass at the time you're watching this video. However, we still highly recommend playing these 10 games. Keep in mind, these are all based on our own opinions. Now onto the list. Broforce is a 2D side-scrolling platformer shooter from developer Free Lives and published by Devolver Digital. The game is a satire of overly masculine and over-the-top action films like Rambo and Terminator. Playable characters include bro-ified parodies of the protagonists, such as Rambro. Each character gets different primary and secondary weapons, which helps change up the gameplay. Multiplayer gets extremely hectic, and the whole game is... It, it's just ridiculous. What can be said about Age of Empires 2 that hasn't already been said? It's the classic real-time strategy game with extra bells and whistles. It's now up to 4K, includes the four new civilizations, three new campaigns, and remastered soundtrack. Fantastic fun. Halo The Master Chief Collection is the first four number titles in the Halo series. Remastered. Need I say more? The addition of large, explorable areas and a crafting system helps set this entry apart from others in the series, and in a good way. Metro Exodus takes everything you love about the first Metro titles and adds so much more. Even in open areas, it's not uncommon to be ambushed by terrifying enemies, making sure there is a constant looming tension. Though not perfect, this is the best game in the Metro series thus far. Visually amazing, action-packed, and full of suspense, the newest Tomb Raider trilogy are all great games to play, and Rise of the Tomb Raider is no exception. With fluid stealth combat, Indiana Jones-esque mysteries, and action sequences that give the Uncharted series a run for their money, Rise of the Tomb Raider is a marvelous addition to the series and to your collection. State of Decay 2, as far as sequels go, could be considered a little underwhelming due to its similarities to the 2013 original. However, it does a great job of building off of the strengths of the original. With gameplay unique to any other zombie game out there and up to 4 player co-op, State of Decay 2 manages to be a memorable experience. Every in-game day provides new challenges as you fight hordes of zombies while searching for the supplies necessary to keep yourself and the community alive. Of all the zombie games I've played, State of Decay 2 feels the closest to how I imagine a zombie outbreak would actually be like. What makes this game great is the new location, the seasons, and the cars. The game is an improvement upon previous titles with a few quality of life improvements. The English countryside makes for a great setting, and the terrain is varied enough to keep it fun. The seasons add different variables to your driving, each affecting how your car handles. The cars included this time around are a nice choice, with some returning favorites from previous titles. Slay the Spire is a deck-building game from Megacrit, released in early 2019. It's a roguelike game that takes players on a choose-your-own-path-like adventure. What separates Slay the Spire from other deck builders is its endless amounts of replayability. The game currently sports a map containing branching paths and increasing difficulty after each successful run. These factors, coupled with three very different characters with a fourth on the way, and hundreds of unique cards to build endless decks, makes Slay the Spire a game I often find myself returning to. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night is a rare example of a Kickstarter video game project done right. This game easily reaches the level of greatness seen in its father series, Castlevania. 
Though troubled on its release with noticeable bugs and lag, developer 505 Games has been keeping up with the project with updates and promises of additional DLC. With good writing, interesting characters, customizable combat, and beautiful graphics, this addition to our list was a no-brainer. Alright guys, before we reveal our number one, let's take a look at some honorable mentions that didn't quite make the top ten list. This one, ladies and gents, this one is fantastic. So this game is a continuation from the first story in Shadow of Mordor. I'm not going to go into specifics, but you'll see some returning faces, as well as quite a few new ones. There are multiple refinements and improvements upon the first game that make this one such a blast. The Nemesis system is a major point of interest when it comes to this game. Like the previous one before, you can affect an army of Oryx. Without giving too much away, you have the ability to build your own army. The game does a great job of making you feel like a badass without making you feel too broken. This game definitely deserves to be in this list.